47-year-old Arthur Del Bianco is an engineer who usually works on the roof of the World Trade Center. After hustling, panicking people out of Tower 2, he went back inside several times to look for co-workers and to help the wounded. Here is his story in his own words. I was about the 70th floor on, on the elevator, 50 car, when um, the lights flickered and people started screaming on the radios. And I heard women saying, I'm trapped, this is fire, get me out of here. So the elevator, I told the elevator operator, open the door, get the door open, get these people out of here. People jumped on the elevator, we took them downstairs, and they got to leave the elevator downstairs for the firemen to, for their access. We started helping the elderly people and the people coming down from the 40th floors, walking down the stairs, and which way to get out of the building. Uh, when we went outside building number four, we see plane parts all over the place. I used to work in aviation. Plane parts all over the place. I see the, the two planes that hit the two buildings, fires, people jumping out of, out of the buildings, you know, out of the, up in the 80s, out of those floors. My partner and I, my partner and I start calling for, you know, fellow workers. And, uh, one of the guys I know was down six levels below ground, and we couldn't find them. Nobody could get them on a the radio. So we went back inside looking for them, and uh, we couldn't get them. We couldn't find them. We looked. Two other men got out that we were looking for, and one guy, we couldn't find him for nothing. <laughs> there was so much rain and so much water from the sprinkler system and the standpipes and the smoke that we had to get out ourselves. Everybody was being ushered through the complex. Uh, away from Liberty, all of a sudden it was like bang, 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 like bullet shots. And then all of a sudden three tremendous explosions and everything started coming down. We started running, just running. We couldn't catch ourselves. The force just pushed us to the ground. We were pushed up against marble slabs and other people and glass and the smoke. We were buried in that stuff. I reached up and grabbed a fireman by his belt. I had a flashlight. And uh, I feel on my legs, something's wrong with my leg, it's busted, but I can't go any further, you know? So I'm gonna, gonna just crawl along. I busted this leg. They we're, were walking along, I'm grabbing a, a belt from the fireman, and then anybody I bump into, I just grab on and yell, and hang on, hang on, just follow, follow us out, just hang on, don't let go, don't let go. You know, we change directions. I know that Liberty Street's the other side, we're going out. You're we get, hanging uh, on by your arms. We're and hanging on to people, just hanging on to people. No, I'm hanging on to people, dragging one leg, limping, and they're hanging on to me uh, like a little train. And as we cross the street to, by the financial center, the building explodes and just comes down. And I'm yelling, I'm screaming for my buddy Mike, because he was right next to me. Your buddy Mike. He made it out. He made it out. Whatever allies there were going to be, or were, honey. I've been waiting, you waiting for hours. I love you. Lisa Del Bianco is here. Good morning to you, Lisa. Good morning. I see tears welling up in your eyes as they are in mine as you watch that, that piece. You had a teary reunion. What yeah. was it like? Uh, I was kind of going from numb to uh, happy. I uh, couldn't believe it. It was so long because I waited and waited upstairs and then they called me downstairs. So it was, I guess I wasn't, I didn't know if I was believing what I was seeing. You know? I know you told me before we started that it's difficult for you to feel happy about this. I mean, your story does have a happy ending, and, and you know, you're, you're celebrating in parts of your soul, but other parts you're, you're very, very distraught. Sad. Yes, very sad for people that are, that are waiting. The fact that your husband usually works on the roof of the World Trade Center, mm -hmm. he, wasn't, he wasn't on the roof that day, was he? No, he was on his way up to the roof. He stopped to uh, get a toolbox for someone, so it, it held him back a few minutes where he would have been. This guy, is, this guy has escaped trouble before. <laughs> you were telling me, tell yeah. me again, where he was when the World Trade Center was uh, bombed. He had taken off to go skiing that day, and uh, he was supposed to be at work, but he wasn't. And uh, uh, we were in, uh, in Aruba on vacation last month and uh, he saved a drowning man and made the newspaper there. Uh, 
was a big thing. He, they thought he was a doctor and everything. He's made and it out of car crashes. Car crash and, and, and a typhoon in, in Guam. What's his condition now, Lisa? Uh, he has a pin in his leg that they're taking out today, supposedly. Um, he's in good spirits. I didn't know what condition because he's always trying to protect me and sugarcoat everything when he talks to me on the phone. So I was wondering if that was what he was doing. And when I got there, I was going to see a mess. And I got there and he looked like my Artie, only with a pin in his leg. And, um, you know, so they're going to take... Yeah, I mean, he, he goes from crying, you know, there's so many mixed emotions that everybody's because feeling. Because he, too, probably has friends that are yeah. still missing, I would Well, say. yeah, there were four gentlemen. He was one of four that went back in, and two came out, him and his, his buddy Mike, and the other two they haven't found yet. Tuesday was your 10-month anniversary? 10-month anniversary. We, were ce we celebrate monthly. We don't celebrate yearly. So you're newlyweds. I must yeah. imagine that you feel a great... Uh, Great deal of relief. I know it's difficult in many ways, the emotions, but I'm, thank you. There's, there's, one, there's one good news, one piece of good news, one happy story this morning. Thanks for, for telling it to us, Lisa Del Bianco. Thank you.